All right, let's have a quick beginner's tour of Autodesk Inventor 2020. Let's go through some of the different file types and some of the places where you're going to find the things and you're most commonly going to be using. So first of all, Inventor handles three different file types. First one being parts. Now, your basic thing you're going to be creating is going to be a part. That is a single thing that you are designing. A part can look like this. That is a 3D part. I can go back home here. The next type of thing you may be dealing with is an assembly. Now, an assembly is a collection of parts. They've all been put together. This is for designing more complicated things with multiple parts. You can edit each individual part from inside the assembly. You can create new parts from inside the assembly. But the advantage of the assembly is in how those parts fit together and how you can animate them for motion. The next one is drawings. Drawing is just like in AutoCAD, it creates a two-dimensional uh, representation of your model for printing. So if I look here, there's an example of a drawing. It's a DWG file just like in AutoCAD. You can put your dimensions, you can put your shapes, you can put notes. It's designed for putting onto a printer. The last one is a presentation. This is for creating animations for exploded views. This is a more advanced section of the program. All right, a few other things that uh, you may need to know. If you have multiple windows open, the tabs are available down here. Uh, you can quickly move back and forth between different uh, parts or assemblies or drawings or multiple parts open. Home takes you back to this screen. You have your standard file menus where you can open, you can save, you can look at several things through there. There are some tutorials hiding in here, some sample drawings. You will notice that most of the files you've been recently working on are available on this screen right here. And that is your basic home screen and the stuff you're, like, you're commonly going to use. All right, once you are in a part window, there are several tabs and menus you're likely to use. The file tab here, this is for saving your projects, for opening new projects, things like that. Sketches. This is where you work on, this is where you start with make a shape. This is very much like AutoCAD. You're making a three-dimensional sketch, which later you're going to extrude using the 3D model tab. You've got all of these commands here look very similar to what they do in AutoCAD. With the drop downs, you can usually find more information down below. Important part of sketch is you have to be inside a sketch to be able to edit it. Once you are done in the sketch, it's not enough just to click out like that because right now I'm technically still in the sketch. Notice how all the 3D model options are grayed out. In order to exit a sketch, I have to click finish sketch. 3D model, this is where I work from a sketch. I've got lots of options of things I can do with 3D models. The basic one is you're going to extrude, so you would start with a sketch and extrude it out. You'll notice here we started with a flat sketch and we extrude it out. And it turns it into a 3D shape. And then there's a lot of other tools here that we'll work through. These are the ones you're most likely to use, and it's a key part of 3D modeling. Some of these other tabs you're not going to use nearly as much. Annotate, not as important. Inspect. The part that's important here is if you need to take a measurement of something. Click on the measure. It gives you some options for measuring parts of your shape. You can measure the length of a part. That's a 50 millimeter part right there. That's a useful tool. Other tools in here, well, you find the measure again. Uh, you can change your material colors. If you need to go in and change the settings, like for instance, you are using inches instead of millimeters, you need to change that. That's all available here under document settings. 
If you're going to 3D print your model, you need to go up to the Environment tab. There's several options under 3D print. We have other options here. This browser window allows you to take a look at all the edits you did. For instance, here, I've got multiple extrusions. Each time I modified it, every modification shows up in this browser window. If you look underneath, you can see the sketch that I used to do that modification. You can change your views over here. You can click to specific views. You can click home to go to your basic view. You can click on this box and drag your mouse and pivot it. You can use your scroll wheel to scroll in and out. There's a few other options here. There, if you click on this hand, it allows you to pan it around. You can also do the same thing. I'll hit escape to get out of that. Is if you take your mouse wheel and you click down on your mouse wheel, it automatically goes to a pan as well. This one right here is a free road, free orbit. Allows you to rotate instead of clicking on the sh on the box up here. You can do that. It's, if you're in the circle, center of the circle, you're going to rotate. If you are outside of it, you're going to rotate on a single axis. One thing that often happens if you get a little overzealous with your scroll wheel and all of a sudden you can't find your shape, it's gone. A quick and easy way to get it back is so you go up here, you hit the home button. It automatically zooms in so everything you've drawn is available on one screen or on the screen. If you are going to save your drawing, you can either click on this button right here and it'll save it, or you can click File and save it right through here. And if you're looking for the Undo button, there's your Undo and there's your Redo. And this takes you back to your main home window. So that was an intro into the parts of Inventor that you're likely to be using, some of the basics you need to know. We'll go into detail on how to use each of those parts and how to use the commands and how to work with it in future videos.